Since it was a short week this week and we're not learning a new letter, we're going to do a name craft today instead of an alphabet craft. So we're gonna make a flower, a spring flower, with the letters of our name. And then you can draw a little picture of you inside the little circle. So what you're going to need is paper, a pencil or a pen. Um, you're gonna need, if you don't have colorful paper, paper, you'll have to use some white paper and some coloring materials and scissors and glue, if I didn't already say those. All right, I'll give you a second to get to those materials and we'll get started. So first I need to write my name on a piece of paper so I can count how many letters are in my name. However many letters I have, that's how many petals I need for my flower. If you have a short name, you could do your last name too or even your middle name to make it longer. So I'm going to do Moro because I'm Miss Moro. So I'm gonna write my name and you write your name on your paper. Okay, now that my name is on my paper, I have to count how many letters I have. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I need six petals for my flower. I'm going to put that off to the side so I don't forget. Now I'm going to glue my flower onto a blue paper because it's the blue sky. Now the middle of a flower, where the pollen is, where the bumblebees eat, is a circle shape. So remember we do a magic C, keep going all the way to make it a circle and that's okay if it's like that. We're just gonna cut on the line as best as we can. So we're gonna cut out the middle of our flower. Great, put that to the side for now and glue on your flower right in the middle of your paper. So let's point to the middle so we know where it is, right there. We're gonna plop that down in the middle. Perfect. Now, remember I need six. I need six petals for my flower. So you can do different shapes of petals. You could do a shape that looks like this, where you do a curved line up, and a curve line down, like that kind of flower petal. You could do a more round flower petal where you make it a curve up, and instead of making it point, keep going to make it kind of like a circle, more like an oval, a squished circle. So that's up to you. Do you remember that trick I showed you where we fold our paper or we put two pieces of paper together to get the same shape but different colors? Miss Morrow is going to do that trick. If it's too thick for you, then you just cut your petals one at a time. But this is a really good trick to learn. Makes your work go a little bit faster. So I'm going to cut my papers all together. So fold very strong and cut on the line as best as you can. Now make sure your helping hand is holding nice and tight so your paper doesn't move out of your hand. And I'm just cutting my petal shapes. Awesome. Let's see how many I have. Oh, I have a blue one, that won't work, will it? Because my paper Oh my goodness, look what I did. I accidentally cut out my flower paper. Ha! That's a perfect example of making a mistake, but I'm not gonna get upset about it. I'm just gonna quickly put that one in recycling, cut a new circle, and all is well. Just takes me a couple extra seconds. No big deal. Glue that 
going on there again. Silly Miss Moro. All right, right in the middle. There we go. So I have a pink petal, a green petal, another green petal, and an orange petal. How many do I have? One, two, three, four. Hmm, that's not enough. I need six. I need one, two, three, four, five, six. I need two more petals. So I'm going to take my pink and my green paper and I'm going to cut out my petal shape again. There, now my petals aren't the exact same as my other ones, but that is okay because no petal is the same on a flower. Wow, pretty colors, I really like them. So, I can space them out around my flower and I can make sure that I have enough petals for my letters. So if I start right here with the pink one, M-O-R-R-O-W. Yay, I have enough. I'm going to use my pen and write those letters. Now remember, you're not writing my letters, you are writing your letters. Now it's time to glue your letters on. Do them one at a time so you don't forget where your letter goes. You don't want to mix your name up. There's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. And last one. Six. There, it says Moro. I can't wait to see what some of your name flowers look like. You can also get creative and give your flower a stem going down into the garden. 